what's going on guys and gals? Chef PV ATX RC Productions here. Um, we're sitting with a KISS flight controller and KISS 30 amp ESCs on the table and connected. Um, wanted to go through and show a quick kind of how to set your rates up um, and how you can actually see the rates visually on the screen, which is very different than any other flight controller um, on the market. And I think it's really interesting and cool. So the KISS flight controller, when you plug it into the um, USB port like I have now and connect, you actually can get real-time um, receiver data from your transmitter and receiver, which is pretty interesting and different from anything else. So much so that the coolest part about it is it lets you set the rates here and the curves to where you see a visual representation of what you just set. For instance, in clean flight and beta flight and the rest, I set my rates and my curves and then I have to go fly and see how it feels. I don't really get a chance to see exactly what it does on screen. So here's the yaw curve. I set the curve to 0.3 because I wanted a really slow curve. And then I set the rates pretty high, not too high, but pretty high to where I can spin fast if I want. But for the most part, it gives me a lot of yaw authority and control. And I really, really thought that was cool. Um, more so even I have my rolls and my pitch at a much tighter curve, so a more um, responsive curve at one, and I have my rates slightly higher as well. So here, once I kind of start going, it's spinning at a decent rate, and then I can go full on spin mode. So it tells you the exact number of degrees per second, the number of rolls per second. It's just really pretty interesting and cool to see that I'm running at two and a half turns per second on yaw, but I'm running almost four on flips and rolls. Just something interesting and more importantly, I think useful to you guys out there trying to set your charts up and set these things up. Um, I will say the KISS flight controller system and ESC system, a little difficult to get used to if you're used to some of the other stuff, but as a new user, I definitely think that if all you know is what you see and learn from KISS, it's pretty smart and it's a pretty simple way to go, keeping it simple, you know? So I would say that KISS and Flyduino, you guys need to do some more videos and some more tutorials and get some more manual stuff out there. Um, it was very confusing about the ESCs. I have KISS 30s. Um, I assume that, I, and it's my fault, I'm assuming that I could not calibrate them because they were KISS, but it's only the 24 amp ESCs that actually don't need calibration. So um, really interesting, really cool setup, real clean. Um, I'm starting to enjoy it. We'll go out and fly it and see how it flies. But until then, guys, fly safe, fly smart, fly for fun. Fly Zero Ground FPV. Peace.